welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Sunday meal prep video. This week I am planning on blueberry cheesecake waffles for breakfast. I'm so excited to try these. It's a recipe I actually got off the Birch Benders website. And for lunch this week, I'm gonna do turkey taco salads. So basically for this recipe, I'm using my recipe for chopped chicken taco salad, and I'm just using some turkey in place of the chicken. I don't have too many dinners to make into meal kits this week. In fact, I think I'm just gonna be probably doing one. The rest of the dinners throughout the rest of the week are pretty basic, and so there's really not anything to do to put them into meal kits. If you're new to my channel, I currently follow the WW Blue program, but I do provide you the points for all three programs on my channel. And I will also always list all the recipes down in the description box below. So that way, if you just want to get the nutritional facts from the website, you can do that as well. So if you want to see how I meal prep breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks for my husband and I for the week, then stay with me. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy and I'm planning us healthy. So for breakfast prep, as I said, I'm making blueberry cheesecake waffles. Now, the recipe that I'm going to link down below is from birchbenders.com, and it is for blueberry cheesecake pancakes. So whether you want to make pancakes or waffles is completely up to you. I'm going to attempt to do waffles, but all I have is my little mini dash, so this could take some time. So I may end up switching over and just doing some pancakes. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So for this recipe, let me share with you what you're going to be needing. I'm actually doubling the recipe that is on the website, so I have no idea how many waffles this is going to make. But I'm going to be using two cups of the Birch Benders. This is the plant protein kind. So I'm using two cups of that. I'm going to use eight ounces of fat-free cream cheese. I am also going to use one cup of 1% milk that I just spilled all over my counter back there. If you want, you can use almond milk. So I originally planned on using one cup of unsweetened almond milk, but I plugged it in with the 1% milk and it does not change the points. So this is six points on all three programs. So that's completely up to you if you want to use the almond milk or the 1%, it's still the same points. I am also using three quarters of a cup of Swerve Confectioner sugar. And also I have here, I'm going to use about a cup of blueberries, but then I'm also going to use some extra blueberries to put on the top when it's done. And I think I'm also going to put some raspberries around it when it's done too. And the other thing is some graham cracker crumbs. These I'm just gonna sprinkle about a tablespoon on each serving after. So the first thing that we wanna do is take the confectioner sugar, put that in a bowl, and then I have, make sure to get your cream cheese room temperature. So I just cut it into little chunks just to kinda help it get room temperature. And then we're gonna mix that together real well. So you can use electric blenders if you want, or just beat it by hand. All right, and then mix that until it's real, mixed together real well. All right, now we're gonna add in two cups of the Birch Benders pancake mix. Just add that slowly. All right, now we're going to add in the one cup of milk. get it to your consistency. That is actually a little bit thicker than I care for it, so I am going to add some water to mine. So that's gonna be up to you 
how you like your pancakes. I don't like them quite as thick. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and thin those out. of a cup to thin mine out so again if you like them more thicker then you don't have to add the water I like mine just I don't know I just like mine a little bit more thin so you can kind of see the consistency so they were really thick before I've actually never used the Birch Benders brand I usually use the Kodiak cakes um, but since I got this off of Birch Benders website I figured I would use their brand all right so just fold in about a cup of blueberries. So now I'm going to get my waffle maker plugged in, which I should have already <laughs> done that while I was prepping these. So let me move some of this stuff and I will get my mini dash heated. Okay, so my dash is heated up. Now I'm just going to spray it with some cooking spray. I'm going to give it a generous spray. And then I'm going to do like a quarter of a cup in each. And then I'm going to see what it looks like. See, it's still pretty thick. So these ones may be a trial and error. We'll see how they do. That's still pretty thick. I might still add a little bit more water. Okay, so I just added about another eighth or quarter of a cup of water and I think it thinned it out enough. So let's see how this one's doing. So while these are cooking, I'm then going to take some sugar-free Mrs. Butterworth and I'm going to measure out 49 milliliters into these little cups. I get these little cups at the Dollar Tree. You can have 49 milliliters for zero points. So that's how much I'm going to put in each one. So as you can see, it's quite a good amount. Yeah, that was so thick. I feel like that's going to be a fail on that one. So you may want to do these as pancakes. The blueberries in there might not do well for waffles. So you may want to switch these to pancakes. Okay. It still feels, it's real heavy, and I'm thinking that's because it didn't have, it was so thick. So, it's still going to taste just as good, but I'm going to try another one. Again, it may be that the blueberries are in there. I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments <laughs> if you've made these with fruit. Is that what it is? That's, or is it because they were so thick the first time? Let's see what happens with this one. See, even adding that water is still thick. Oh well, they're still gonna taste good. They just might not <laughs> they might not be very pretty. So that's what they look like. So I'm gonna go through, I'm not gonna keep you on camera while I make the rest of these because I feel like this is gonna take me quite a bit of time. And then I'll show you how many we ended up with. I am. I was hoping for like two in each one, but we'll see. We may end up getting three in each one. I'm not sure. So I'll come back and show you how we ended up. Okay, y'all. This is not working out. <laughs> so we're going to switch over and make these into pancakes. 
I am not <laughs> pleased with these at all. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this part in. All right, everyone. So we, we had a major fail on the waffles. So they just were not cooking very well in there. I don't know if it's because of the blueberries, you know, with cr it was crushing them. I'm really not sure. So I decided <laughs> that I'm going to switch over to pancakes. They're still going to taste the same. I mean, they're still going to taste good, but this is just a different recipe. I've never done this before. So I've got my griddle heated and I'm going to spray it with cooking spray. And I'm going to drop these by the about a quarter cup each. And we'll see how these do. <laughs> okay, so I was hoping that this was going to make 12 which would be two each. I'm making six servings. So it's clearly gonna make more. I've got eight here and I've already got two made. So I'm gonna shoot for 18 and that way it'll be three on each one for six points. So now we're gonna carefully flip them over. All right, we'll let those finish cooking. All right, then once they're done, just put them in your dishes. And like I said, we're gonna try and do make 18 out of it. All right, now we're gonna give it another spray. Perfect. So made exactly 18, counting the two waffles. Perfect. So they are done. So we're going to have three in each one. The last thing to put on these, let me get this unplugged. The last thing to put on these is the graham cracker crumbs. I think what I'll probably do is just wait and I'll sprinkle them on the day that we have them. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna just measure out three tablespoons of the graham cracker crumbs. And instead of putting one tablespoon in each dish, I'm just gonna measure out three tablespoons. So what we'll do is I will take one of these and my husband will take one of these and then we'll just use it up for the three days. So we'll just sprinkle a little bit each day. So that's how much we'll go on each one. You can completely leave these out if you want. It will save you a point. This is gonna be one point. It's actually five points for the pancakes and then one point for this. But that's up to you if you wanna leave it out. So that would be the three tablespoons. What I think I'll do is I'll try it the first day and see if it's worth taking the point for. And then, so we'll each take one of those. So I'm gonna put these, the syrup in here. And I think what I will do, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the berries in here. I was not gonna put the berries in because I wanna heat them, but what I'll do is I will take these out, I'll take the pancakes out and heat them on a paper plate just to heat them up. So I'm gonna put my berries, like I said, I'm gonna do raspberries and blueberries. All right, so that's it. So then when I heat these, I'll take the pancakes out, put them on a paper plate, heat those, and then I'll dump the berries over top and the syrup over top of those. 
So breakfast is done a little bit different. I planned on waffles, but we ended up with pancakes. So sometimes things happen. <laughs> like I said, sometimes we plan on one thing and things don't work out that way. So I'm going to set those aside, let those cool. They're still a little bit hot. I'll let those cool and move on to the lunches with the salads. Hi everyone, just want to interrupt the video real quick to ask a huge favor. If you're getting value out of this video, I would really appreciate it. If you would hit that like button down below, give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it mean the world to me, but it also lets YouTube know that you like my videos. So I greatly appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so moving on to lunch. For lunch prep today, I am doing turkey taco salads. As you can see here, I have a recipe for chopped chicken taco salad. That's because I'm using this recipe and I'm just replacing the chicken with turkey. So this is what it looks like. This is so good. This comes out to three points on blue and purple and seven points on green. So I actually made a whole turkey a couple months ago and of course we didn't eat it all so I took the turkey off and put it in my freezer in a freezer bag. So I want to get that used up because it has been a couple months. So I have here about one and a half pounds of turkey breast and I have put some taco seasoning on it. I'm using about a half a packet of this taco seasoning mix and I'm basically just adding some water to it just to kind of keep it from getting dry. So I'm just gonna mix that up. It doesn't have to be heated through all the way because this turkey is cooked, but I just wanna kinda make sure that the taco seasoning is mixed in there real good. So now we're gonna go assemble these salads. All right, so continuing on with lunch. So my turkey is all cooked through. Well, it's not really, it was already cooked to begin with, but I just mixed up the taco seasoning with it. So now I'm gonna cut up all my vegetables. I'm using some green leaf lettuce. The recipe actually also calls for iceberg lettuce, but I didn't get any iceberg lettuce, so that's fine. I'm just gonna use this green leaf. And I had, I bought three of them, but I'm not, I think I'm just gonna need two. The next thing I have is one can of black beans and one can of corn. And I've drained them, rinsed them real well. And then I have two to three, you can use two to three beefsteak tomatoes depending how much you want. If you prefer, you don't have to put those in there now. Sometimes people are worried about the salads getting soggy with the tomatoes in there. Uh, I've not really experienced that too much, but that's up to you. I'm also using some mini cucumbers. I usually use about three of them. and. You can either wash these and cut them with the skins on. I actually peel ours, so I didn't wash these because I'm going to be peeling them anyways. The next thing I'm going to need is a red onion that I'm going to chop up real fine. And then after I get all the salads together, then I'm going to top them with two tablespoons of tortilla strips and also one eighth of a cup of Velveeta shreds in each container. So I'm going to get the vegetables and everything cut up and put into the dishes. to weigh out your turkey. Since I'm on blue, I don't weigh it out. I just kind of try and portion it equally. So now I'm gonna weigh out the seven grams of the tortilla strips and also the one eighth of a cup, which is 14 grams of cheese. If you don't wanna have the cheese, that'll save you a point. The 
last thing I'm going to do is weigh out our uh, salad dressing. We're using the light Italian Olive Garden dressing. So this is extra points. So whatever salad dressing you use is what you'll have to count. For us, we can have 41 milliliters of this for one point. So what I'm going to do is put the three days worth in one container. So we'll do like we do for the breakfast and then we'll just split it over the three days. Okay, so then one of them, I was a little bit shy, <laughs> I ran out. So we'll just use these, each of us will take one of these and we'll split it amongst the three days. So like I said, these are three points on blue and purple and seven points on green. So I'm on blue, so mine will be four points because it will be one point for the salad dressing and then the three points for the salad. So that is quite a big lunch for four points. All right, so let me clean up this a little bit and then move on to the meal kits for dinner. All right, so moving on to dinners very quickly. I am just gonna throw these meal, meal kits together very quickly. If you're new to my channel, um, I do my dinners different than I do breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch, as you saw, I put them together, cook them, and then I just reheat them. For the dinner kits, I'm gonna be making these fresh each night, but what I do is just portion everything out, weigh everything out, and put everything in the bag. I'm not washing produce or anything today. I will do that in the night that I have them. So for example, this night I'm doing garlic parmesan salmon with rice and broccoli. So I have some broccoli florets here that I notice has some pieces of kale in it. I don't know what they did on that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna throw some broccoli down in the bottom of the bag and then I'll wash it and cut it up the night that we have it. So if I were to buy a whole head of broccoli, then I would just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Yeah, we've got a bunch of kale in this bag. That's odd. And then for the rice that I use, I just use the 90 second ready rice. So I don't put that in the fridge or anything. I just got it out just to show you what I use. So that should do it. And then I'll put my salmon in there, which actually I don't think that's gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna just set the salmon aside. The next thing that I have is a tablespoon of light butter. And I also have the mixture for the topping, which is one eighth of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, one eighth of a cup of regular seasoned breadcrumbs, one eighth of a cup of Parmesan cheese, and some parsley. So that's going in there. And then I also have some garlic. And then that way everything's already measured out. So when I go to cook dinner, I can come home from work and just put the topping on it and I'm ready to go. So that's all I do for the meal kits. And like I said, because I have the salmon in this, I'm not gonna put that in there. Now, the other night, one night I was going to put together my Hasselback chicken, the Philly Hasselback chicken. Usually I prep that into a meal kit, but I'm not gonna prep do that one because that one calls for bell peppers, provolone, and then the chicken and onion. But I'm gonna be using frozen onions and peppers this time. I have some frozen onions and peppers in my freezer that are, they're already diced up, so I'm gonna use those for it. So there's really not anything to make into a meal kit for that one. And the night that we were gonna have pork chops, if you watched my meal plan, you saw one night I was planning on barbecue pork chops with potatoes. But I forgot that last week I put together a skillet pork and peppers with Brussels sprouts and we did not end up having it. So I want to make sure to use it because I have my red po my potato. I have my red pepper still in this bag. So now I'm going to do this one Tuesday night. So I have my pork out, but it's frozen, so it should be good. And then I still have all my ingredients still in there. My banana peppers, my Parmesan cheese, tomato paste, garlic. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that one this week. So if you have not seen that, you can go to last week's meal prep or basically I'm not doing these kits anyways to show you how to make these. It's just to show you how I put my meal kits together. So I will have the recipes for everything down in the description box below. So I'm going to just put, and like I said, this is frozen. This is 10 ounces of pork tenderloin. So I'll put that in there. So this one will be Monday night. This one will be Tuesday night. So that's all I do for the dinner kits. Like I said, I'm not gonna do the Hasselback chicken because there's not really anything to do. So that's it for that. Now I'm gonna get my 
fruit together. I'm gonna do cantaloupe this week for fruits. I also have some blueberries left. And so I'm just gonna put those together into containers. All right, so I'm just gonna put the blueberries into these mason jars. Actually, I might only need one. And then we'll just keep these in our fridge. <laughs> I'm making a mess here. We'll just keep these in our fridge and munch on them throughout the week. that and the next thing I'm going to do is cut up my cantaloupe hard boiled eggs in the instant pot so I'm just going to put those into a container and then throughout the week I'll have those to snack on so let me get everything out and show you what we ended up with all right here is meal prep for the week so start down here with the snacks we have cantaloupe blueberries raspberries apples we have our two point puddings cool whip usually I mix one point worth of cool whip in with the pudding or the cool whip gets mixed in with some of the fruit for just any type of snack day or night and then we have hard boiled eggs here zero on blue and purple two points each on green and then for the breakfast what was supposed to be waffles turned into pancakes and we ended up with three of them for each one plus the raspberries and blueberries and then the syrup zero points for the syrup and then for the pancakes it's six points on each on all programs and then we have the graham cracker crust, and you can just sprinkle that on at the end. And again, that's one point for that, so if you wanted to just leave that out, then the pancakes would be five points. And then the lunches here, we have, it's supposed to be chopped chicken taco salad, but I use turkey. So this is three points on blue and purple, and seven points on green, plus whatever you use for your salad dressing. We're using the light Olive Garden Italian for one point. And then my dinner kits, I have garlic parmesan salmon with rice and broccoli. That's five points on blue and purple and seven points on green. And then the skillet pork and peppers with Brussels sprouts is five points on all programs. All right, that's it for meal prep this week. If you're new, please do not get overwhelmed with how much meal prep I do. I've been doing meal prepping for a long time, and so I slowly built up to big meal prep like this. But you definitely don't need to do anything extravagant. You can do one day at a time. You can do one, you know, just breakfast for the week or just lunch. This is actually for both my husband and I for three days. So just don't get overwhelmed with it. If you like this video, again, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Put any comments down below. And if you're new, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also click the notification bell. That's what notifies you anytime I upload new content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.